During 2023, there were many experiences and changes in the Disneyland Paris Resort, from the reopening of It's a Small World and the Mysteries of the Nautilus, to amazing shows with Avengers Powered at Night, the return of the fan-favorite Disney Dreams, and the new stage show Together, a Pixar musical adventure. Changes were also done to Flight Force with the installation of new effects, and the first new parts of Disney Village have started to open, with a new amazing Rosalie Passerie. With all that already done, what can we expect during 2024? Well, come along as I go over everything announced for 2024. Oh boy! Before I begin, if you enjoy my content and this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I upload weekly videos on theme parks from the past to the future. If you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming a channel member. You can find me over at Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, and in our Discord community where I'm most active. Links are in the description. That said, let's dig in. This January will be packed with happenings in the Disneyland Paris Resort. So let's go over the new season that is to be introduced in just some days, including amazing new shows. That's right, starting January 8th, Life will be as colorful and joyful as in a movie at Disneyland Park. Over the first few weeks of the new year, Disneyland Paris will gradually introduce a series of exciting experiences that will add color to cloudy winter days. Disney Symphony of Colors This program includes a new nighttime drone sequence, a new daytime show and brand new decorations. This novelty will pay dazzling tribute to the Main Street Electrical Parade, a nighttime spectacular that marked the history of the Disneyland Paris Resort when it was staged in Disneyland Park between 1992 and 2003. Disney Electrical Sky Parade gives nostalgic fans a chance to relive their childhood and younger fans the opportunity to discover this iconic Disney Parks experience in a brand new, never before seen format. Up to 500 drones will parade across the night sky in the form of illuminated floats symbolizing the various icons of the Main Street Electrical Parade, including Mickey Mouse and his friend's dazzling train, Elliot the Adorable Dragon, and Cinderella's Carriage. The unforgettable electro magnetic music, which has been remixed for the occasion, will once again set the tempo for this spectacular festival of nighttime magic. To develop Disney Electrical Sky Parade, the Disneyland Paris Entertainment teams have once again collaborated with Dronuses, the official technology supplier of Disneyland Paris and European leader in drone shows based in France, United States and the Middle East. This breathtaking new show will follow in the footsteps of recent nighttime productions such as Disney Delight, the 30th pre-show, Avengers Power the Night and the Out of This World Bastille Day drone and fireworks show performed on the 14th of July 2023. While the drone show will kick off the Symphony of Color season in just some days, starting February 10th, guests will be able to enjoy a colorful musical experience in a new, energy-packed daytime show celebrating the animated films from both Disney Animation and Pixar with a host of characters, a million splashes of color. This original creation, performed several times a day, will take guests on a journey through time to discover the stories of Disney Animation and Pixar, from timeless classics to the most recent hits. The colorful floats will be inspired by art, music and writing, the core elements at the very heart of Disney Animation and Pixar storytelling. Each of the floats will have its own visual identity and will be packed with many Disney details and references. Music will play a central role in setting the pace for this celebration, combining two original scores and a mashup of iconic songs from both Disney Animation and Pixar films in specially adapted versions. From the bare necessities to You've Got a Friend in Me, this selection of songs will delight guests of all ages as it showcases songs that have touched many generations. Also, from the 10th, Main Street USA will feature new decorations specially made for this season, celebrating the wonders of nature in both winter and spring. These new decorations will draw their inspiration from Art Nouveau and celebrate the richness of Disney's stories. 
Over 50 Disney Animation and Pixar characters will be featured, including Donald, Tiana, Elsa, and Woody. The main landmarks on Main Street USA, such as the gazebo and Main Street Station, will be redecorated to celebrate Disney's Symphony of Colors. The Electrical Sky Parade Drone Show and the A Million Splashes of Color Day Parade will be offered until the end of September, with the Main Street decorations only staying until May 5th. Going over to Fantasyland, the storybook land that includes both Lupe de Conte de Fe and Casey Jr. will receive a complete refurbishment. Announced some months ago, this refurb will also include the changing of some of the scenes seen through the water base attraction. Two scenes will be changed into new miniatures. After the works are finished, guests will be able to see a brand new frozen miniature, including the majestic North Mountain with Elsa's Ice Palace on top of it and Wandering Oaken's trading post. Characters like Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Kristoff and Sven will all be present here. The other scene will bring the addition of other beloved characters with the addition of the Hundred Acre Woods. This new miniature will come with none other than Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. While this is all that has been shared, it seems that the refurbishment may be bigger than what they're letting on. One thing is for certain, and that is that the attractions of Storybook Land will look immaculate, including the awfully dirty book at the entrance of the boat ride. Another change will happen over at Star Tours. The adventures continue, with the addition of brand new scenes this spring that will make your outer space experiences even more exciting. Over at Walt Disney Studios, the park to be for shows, a brand new one will be inaugurated this spring. Using the Theater of Stars, previously occupied by Motors Action Stunt Show Spectacular, a new musical extravaganza inspired by the whimsical world of Alice in Wonderland will be played. This new show will invite guests into the topsy-turvy and colorful world from the beloved movie that will offer a modern and flamboyant twist on the beloved Disney animation classic. There isn't a lot known about this new show, but it looks like the audience will also participate as not only will children and grown-ups get to discover the energy-packed musical show, but also have the unique opportunity to influence the outcome of the story. Theater of Stars is a huge 3,000 people per show capacity theater, and this show will most definitely be an amazing experience for everyone that watches it. As I said, there is little information out there and still no opening date nor month other than spring, which leads me to believe that Disney will release a lot more information on it soon. So, if you don't want to miss anything, make sure to follow me over on Twitter or Threads. The parks are not getting all the attention, as the 5-star Disneyland Hotel will reopen on January 25. Every centimeter of the interior has undergone a reimagination, from the grand lobby to the rooms and suites, to offer its future guests a new concept interwoven with beloved Royal Disney characters, both classic and new. Disneyland Hotel is the first Disney hotel to propose a five-star journey celebrating Disney royalty in all its expressions. From Cinderella, to Frozen, the Sword in the Stone, and the Princess and the Frog, to Moana. Guests will be given the lead to become part of the story and create their own magical moments. The hotel's new design includes regal-themed lobby, restaurants, bar and lounges, and will also offer its guests a unique entertainment program that creates memories alongside beloved Royal Disney characters, or Mickey, Minnie and their friends in a new exclusive regal attire. All 487 rooms are entirely redesigned with an elegant atmosphere, as well as modern comfort and luxury amenities. The tradition of Disney storytelling can be found inside all rooms and suites, from artwork and subtle touches that celebrate iconic elements of Walt Disney Animation Studios' royal stories down to the last decor details. Guests staying in the Castle Club, an exclusive hotel within the hotel, will enjoy a range of VIP benefits and services, including extra privacy with a dedicated private elevator and check-in area, as well as a breakfast with Disney Princess characters in the Castle Club Lounge. Suites will offer unprecedented levels of immersion into Royal Disney stories. 
Both restaurants, the Royal Banquet and La Table de Lumière, will offer a unique gourmet dining experience. Children will be welcomed like princesses and princes during their stay. There will even be spaces tailored just for them, such as the Royal Kids Club, where they will be immersed in augmented reality magic and unforgettable encounters. Or My Royal Dream Experience, where young guests will be able to transform into their favorite Disney royalty with the help of regal hairstyles, special outfits and accessories. All this and a 9 Euro Coca-Cola will be available on January 25. At last, I couldn't finish off the video without mentioning the amazing scale of construction works going on throughout the year in both parks, Disney Village, and the beginning of Sequoia Lodge's makeover. The studio's expansion and transformation is now in full steam ahead. This year, Production Courtyard will have a lot of works as it transforms into Theater District. Studio One will also close down as the transformation moves into it as well. We've been over these many projects several times, so I recommend you watch my latest construction update video and the theater district as well to learn more. All the construction projects that will go into 2025 will make it one of the biggest years for Disneyland Paris, but there's a lot to be excited for in 2024 as well, as I've showcased here. So tell me, what are you most excited about coming this year? Any of these new shows and experiences? or even the announcement of the Lion King land. Oops, might have spoken a bit too much there. We'll leave that for another time. And now, as always, have a wonderful 2024, and that's a wrap.